So Jim McGraw here with Tirius Research here again and CES 2024. And the major theme here has been AI everywhere. So definitely getting into AI and especially at the edge. And I'm here with CHG with Kanara and we're talking about some of these edge technologies. So CH, tell us a little bit more about Kanara and the products we're demoing here today. Uh, sure, I'd love to. Uh, so here we are talking about our Gen, Gen 1, uh, R01 AI processor. Uh, which is basically used to accelerate uh, ML inference for AI cameras and embedded uh, systems. Uh, and um, R01 supports up to 2 gigabyte of LPDDR4, uh, PCI Gen 3, USB Gen 1, which is, makes it very convenient to connect to host processors. Uh, power is about 3.8 watt TDP, and you know, a chip is a pretty small chip at 15 millimeter by 15. And um, we'll be, oh, the R01 processor has uh, modules uh, that, that we uh, mount them on to promote our technology and our products. The modules are the M.2 module as well as the USB module. With these modules, our customers can connect uh, this, uh, can connect the modules to a system easily, either using an M.2 connector or even more conveniently like a plug and play interface with a USB module to check out our performance. Um, most recently, we have, into, we, are, we have introduced our RR2, second uh, next generation AI processor, uh, and uh, you know, really uh, allowing us to showcase a generative AI at the edge, which is what everybody is talking about. Uh, RR2 is up to five times uh, more uh, performance than the RR1, and could be even more, depends on the model. And um, we are showcasing uh, at this, uh, uh, in our suite, uh, stable diffusion demo, which is uh, what we call latent diffusion, allow you, allowing you to type text and generate images. Uh, we can actually run at eight seconds per image. Um, and, um, and furthermore... Uh, eight our, seconds per image. That's correct. faster than I can do it on a PC today. Much, much faster than what you can do <laughs> on a PC today. Yeah, and it's up and running. And in a little bit, we'll show you the demo. Uh, so what's also neat about R2 is that it can uh, access up to 16 gigabytes of memory. So that allows you to run very large models that our competitors can't. Um, so R2 also comes with a module, an M.2 module is actually being shown uh, in a demo uh, shortly. Uh, we'll just in install an R2 into a laptop and just turbocharge the processing from minutes to seconds. Uh, and I guess now we can jump into the demo. Well, a quick question for sure. you. Yeah. Obviously, you know, um, this adds that AI acceleration. Yes. Um, but it's a very low power solution. So it could right. be powered, uh, it could be partnered with both an MCU and an applications pro processor, correct? Yes, it can. Embedded uh, processor, as long as uh, it, it has the USB uh, interface or PCI Express, that will, that will work just fine. And then you can use multiple chips for multiple video streams or multiple... Uh, AI model simultaneously if you want more performance, correct? Yes, our technology is very scalable. So we have customers who use one chip all the way up to eight chips today. That's great. Yeah. Okay. Right. So here we have uh, one of our partners, uh, Ampere. Uh, they, they basically are an ARM processor uh, for an edge server. This particular device, Ampere has uh, 64 cores. And uh, we also have in here our R1 M.2 module that is used for the demo. And this demo is really showcasing how, if, how efficient and uh, uh, how efficient our processor is uh, relative to just running things in purely in software. On the left, you see that we are basically running um, uh, you know, an object detection model. And you see that over here, about 24 cores are being used out, uh, to run this particular demo mm -hmm. out of 64. So you're occupying 24 of the cores to 20, uh, averaging 25 is bouncing around. So on the right is when you're actually running the ML processor in uh, processing in hardware using our chip. And in this case, we're using 1.5 of the cores. So you have freed out 25 ARM cores in this, in this processor for other things that you can do if you use our chip. While you're increasing the performance While by you're increasing twice. By, almost by twice. That's awesome. Which is cool. And if you add more of our chips, then you can do even more processing. That's awesome. Yeah. And what in terms of power consumption, what's this do to power consumption for an application like this? I would think you're running probably at just a few watts to That's a few correct. milliwatts to a few watts. Right. Correct? So this this board currently runs less than uh, approximately five watts of power, and it's basically you know doing half the work of 
are doing half what the ARM proce processor is so doing. So completely exactly. negligible when compared to the processor and right. memory and everything else. Exactly, exactly. And freeing up a lot more memory on the processor side as well. Yep. Is there a limit in terms of the amount of memory you can assign with each individual uh, ARA chip? For the ARA1, um, the maximum memory is 2 gigabytes per chip. And for okay. the ARA2, maximum 16 gigabytes per, per chip. Well, that's very significant for scaling different yes, neural yes, network yeah, models. Exactly. And you can actually subdivide a model across multiple chips, correct? Um, at this point, our technology is certainly very capable of doing that. Uh, yeah. We are working on breaking up the model to run on multiple chips. Great. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, so now we can um, we have move. A, we have an R2 demo. R2 demo over here. So we're just going to walk here to showcase an R2 demo here first uh, before we move on to yeah. stable sure. diffusion. Yeah. So um, I'll introduce my colleague, uh, Abilash, to just talk about the demo. I don't know, that uh, picture in the upper right is kind of scary. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it's uh, me. Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, facial landmarks, yeah. yeah. We, look, we look spooky there. So this is uh, one of the typical uh, multimodal use cases that we use in the checkout free uh, retail use cases, right? wherein you may have to see. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. so wherein we need to uh, uh, see the person's pose as to what exactly he's doing, right, in terms of actions like whether he's picking a particular object or not. So that is this pose estimation and then uh, <coughs> person detection and object detection is one of these models and background replacement is just one of the uh, typical use cases where you might need in the, uh, you want to look cool in Skype calls or some something like that, right, you, use cases like that where you just plug into Teams also, uh, that's, mm -hmm. that's use case. And the facial attributes, again, uh, it, it just tells you what, where exactly your landmarks are and then uh, tell you what, uh, how you're feeling today, right? So currently the setup is on a Nook box, Intel i3 Nook, which is probably like, what, $400, $500 uh, uh, Nook. In that, we have a single M.2 ARA2, uh, uh, M.2 is uh, slotted in. And we are able to run four concurrent models on each of the frames, pretty much seamless, right? The, the FPS is around... 30, which is like real time, and even mm -hmm. if you see the latency wise, we are we, we usually we are latency based system. So if even if you move your hand across, you see it is pretty much real time, right? You you don't see any latency uh, as to even the pose if you see. Mm -hmm. So we are pretty optimized for the latency. Uh, yeah. So those are the real use cases you would see, right? In the stores, hey, what exactly is doing? Is he picking or not? So, uh, so that's where we are. <coughs> uh, that's great. So you, any any questions? No. Nope. Okay. So now we move to yeah. generative AI. So levels. this is uh, this is what we started with the typical vision applications, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, today the world is uh, buzzing about the Gen AI, um, uh, like the the use cases like text to images, text to video, uh, even voice to uh, images, right? So this is uh, stable diffusion version 1.4 is one of the uh, typical benchmarks people talk about when it comes to generative AI uh, models. Uh, so one uh, thing is even though our R1 chip is like five year old architecture mm -hmm. and at that time there was no generative AI and even then we are able to port it very efficiently on our uh, uh, chip, right? So today uh, this, uh, this is a Dell laptop running a, a Windows 11 mm -hmm. with two M.2 slotted in R1. Okay. Right. Two two M dot two slots, two R ones. With that, we are able to achieve around twenty five to uh, twenty seven seconds uh, latency per prompt. So, if you want to give it a try, you can try any prompt that you may uh, like. So, I'll let you go ahead and try. Uh, I've had okay. a lot of fun with stable diffusion. Let me. Tell I see. You. Okay. <laughs> so, give me some. Okay. Uh, uh, a Scottish castle on the hill in a rain in a thunder or lightning storm. A Scottish castle. Castle. Um, yeah. On a hill. In a lightning storm. Wow. That's it? Yeah. It's really fun when you ask it to do motion. Oh, well, like sorry. a car driving by something. <laughs> it actually does it. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. Oh, it shows a blur, motion blur. The car driving by it, it actually does kind of show a motion blur on the car. It's, right. it's actually very addictive. I'm not really a gamer, but let me tell you, you give me around some of these uh, 
social, uh, uh, some of the generative AI apps. Yeah. And it's hard to get oh, me off. There we go. Castle, so, I guess it was a lightning storm. <laughs> yeah. So there you go. That's what you get for the first time. Or maybe we can do it again. Yeah. So, yeah. I believe you know the latent diffusion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One, because they give you this kind of temporary image before as it's developing it. Uh, yeah. yeah, this is basically a latent, right? Yeah. Every step it tries to, uh, from it, random noise to the actual image. It makes it like a game. <laughs> that's oh, awesome. there's a song. There we yeah. go. Oh, that's better now. Okay. That's better. <laughs> Probably we may it want does. to take a pic. Is nice. it a nice problem? Yeah. It's amazing. Okay, let's try another one. Okay. Okay. Bride in a wedding dress on the beach at sunset. I like doing this one because I've done it several times mm -hmm. and each time it gives me different color hair. <laughs> <laughs> So well, it still comes up with the white dress every time, but yeah. it's different color hair. Yeah. So I'm interested to see what it comes yeah, up all with. Races. Yeah. 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 Okay. Wow, cut off her head. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had that one before. That's a new one. <laughs> it should do better next time, you hope. She has no head. <laughs> okay, generative AI isn't perfect, we know. Yeah, especially on the first try. Yeah. yeah. So the next one is over here. Yeah. Okay. So this time we have, again, similar Dell laptop with single M.2, RR2. And we are running the same uh, stable diffusion model. Uh, there it is 24 sec uh, seconds for two RR1s. Here it is around eight seconds for one R2, which is like six X. If you see R1 to six R2. times the performance. Correct. Awesome. I look forward to this. Uh, Small cabin on top of snowy mountain. That's one of Disney. the example problems. So the performance is around eight point nine, uh, eight point four seconds. Awesome. Yeah. So you see, like. Pretty much 6x, right? The 55 per single R1 there yeah. to 9 is like 6x. Prom, huh? the, Let's uh, try the prompt. Bride. Bride on the beach or sunset. Bride? Wedding dress. On the beach, yeah. On the beach, yeah. If it cuts off her head again, I'm going to have a nightmare. <laughs> oh. Hey, cut off her head again. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Stable Diffusion's got it out for that one, I guess. But it did it in 8.8. .8. It doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, no, that is impressive. It did in 8.8 .8 <laughs> seconds. Or 8.3 seconds. No, 8.8 yeah. .8 .8 seconds. Yeah, that's the overall uh, full pipeline. That is actually AI. Cool. Thank you so much for the demos. I really appreciate this. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to meet you.